Hey, Homestead Prepper. I just want to show you guys my custom built high reach jack stands. I made these myself. I'm doing a project where I need to raise something up in the air a little bit so I can do some work to it. So I made these. And these are, I guess that one's about extended to 40 inches. I guess I could drill out some more holes and make it a little higher. And it rests at about 27 inches. So they're a little bigger than your normal jack stands. But like I said, I'm doing a special project, so I put these together. I, uh, I've just got the primer on them. Uh, I guess by the end of the video, I'll, I'll have them painted in some visible color. All right, well, let me show you a little bit how they went together. Okay, I want to bring up about square tubing, trying to slide one piece inside another. The problem we have is... Um, you can see this right here. This is welded, and there on the inside there's a welded pin, and you can't always fit the pipe in there. So this this fits in here perfectly. This is two by two by uh, well, I guess it's 14 gauge, and this is inch and three quarter by 14 gauge. So you can see the little lip in there, and what some people do. Well, I just can't really see it. Some people you have to grind that out. I've even seen people where they will put a notch down that but that really weakens the thing so if you're gonna do a square tubing project I recommend you make sure that they fit inside one another Okay, this is the beginning of the project. I've got a couple pieces uh, already cut here. I've got uh, this laid out here. So I've got to drill a hole here for the pin. I've got this pin. This is actually from another project. Just need a little cleaning up. I've got my marks on here so I can adjust. This is the piece that's going to fit down inside here. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get some of this stuff drilled out. All right, I got this leveled out right here, so it will make a nice square hole, hopefully. I've got this thing centered, so it should be right on the money. Let's, uh, let's turn it on and get a hole drilled. So a little bit of oil there. All right. Let's do it. side so let's make a couple more holes well alrighty then these uh, well you see how these are going to work just typical jack stand slide in and out so got a pin through there I got this uh, set up with this magnetic holder right here. It's uh, supposed to put it at 90 degrees. It's pretty much dead on. So all I need to do is tack it together and see how it looks. Alright, y'all see how I have the square position so that when I weld it, that piece is going to be square. And when I go on the other side, it'll do the same thing.
Okay, I got the gaps nice and tight. Just need to weld them up. Got everything tacked on here, so let's uh, let's make it happen. I guess just a little clean up and a little paint making these things look pretty good so let me get them cleaned up you know you just never can have a project go 100 uh, percent smooth sailing there's always seems to be a problem the um, this this thing right here came off and this thing just wrapped up around in there and I had to pull that out and uh, I mean, it wasn't too bad, but, you know, I'm just saying. Okay, well, that's about how tall that one is right there. That's at 27 and a half, almost 29. And I've got everything welded together. Okay, I got them all painted. I decided to go with the high visibility orange because uh, my stuff has a way of blending in around here. So I wanted something that would really stand out. So, okay, Homestead Prepper out.